assalamu alaikum students we are studying a topic polymer degradation and we will discuss in detail what is thermal degradation and which factors which affect the thermal degradation so thermal degradation we have already studied its definition the thermal degradation is influenced by the heat it may follow either chain and degradation or random degradation as we are familiar with the chain and degradation as well as the random degradation in chain and there is a monomer detached in sequence man manner from the terminal position or from the end of the chain while in random degradation there is no sequence present the monomer is detached from any point of the main chain and in the random degradation there is not a single monomer is detached but a group of monomer is detached from the polymeric chain so chain and degradation random degradation if it follows the chain and degradation we will get pure monomer it's an important mcqs how we get the pure monomer in degradation process while we proceed through the chain and degradation and example is polystyrene what about random degradation random degradation lead to the formation of host product example is the polyester so this is the important mcqs as uh, for the mcqs aspect okay next factors affecting the thermal degradation important thing there are mainly four factors we will discuss one by one the first one is the stability of carbon carbon bond students here is an example of polyethylene polypropylene and polyisobutylene as we move from left to right the molecular weight of the polymer is increases first example is the polyethylene where ch2 single bond ch2 and chain is elongated it's a polymer in second case here is the ch3 it's a bulky group attached to this polymer chain while in last case there is two substituents are attached as we are moving from left to right the molecular weight is increases so moving from left to right bulkiness of molecule increases hence carbon carbon bond strength decrease and it become thermally least stable so important point when the bulkiness increases the carbon carbon bond strength decreases and when the carbon carbon bond strength decreases and it may be instable on heating and it may be least stable upon heating in second example there is a polyethylene then polystyrene and then poly alpha methyl styrene here also the bulkiness increasing from left to right the dissociation energy of carbon carbon bond is ch3 ch3 is 88 kilo calorie per mole uh, this is an important mcqs all substituents so this these two examples based on same phenomena as we understand one thing as the uh, polymer may get bulky or high molecular weight polymer it is least stable on heating because their carbon carbon bond strength decreases due to the presence of substituents so students next an important thing all substituents do not always reduce the thermal stability of the polymeric system so point to be noted that there is no rule that when the bulky substituents are attached and the polymer may be reduce or it may be least stable always no in some cases this phenomena this rule is not be applicable applicable yes we will strengthen our this concept while discussing an example for example teflon teflon has all the hydrogen atom replaced by fluorine 
but it is one of the most stable polymer in the chain of the carbon skeleton the hydrogen atom replaced with fluorine atoms and we know we know that fluorine is a highly electronegative atom and due to electronegativity heat does not affect on it high negativity nature of the fluorine protect carbon carbon bond in teflon from thermal attack next this was the first factor we have discussed the stability of carbon carbon bond and we have discussed almost three examples where first two examples in which we have noticed that when the bulky group is came or is attached with a polymeric chain then it thermally become least stable but another example we have noticed that if the h hydrogen is replaced by a electronegative atom then electronegative atom will not affect by heat next the second factor is the presence of aromatic ring the aromatic ring in a polymer backbone increases the thermal stability for example this is a polycarbonate then polyphenylene and then polytetrafluorophenylene the bulkiness of the groups is increasing and the important factor is the aromatic ring is increasing and when the aromatic ring increases in a main chain then it is thermally stable mean this structure this bulky structure where yes in this structure there are an aromatic ring and f electronegative fluorine atom is present so due to this nature it is a highly stable thermally the strength of the thermal uh, thermal properties is greater than in second number polypropylene and in third number it is a polycarbonate where two aromatic ring are present third factor is the presence of oxygen the branching and presence of oxygen atom in the polymer chain makes polymer less stable if the branches and presence of oxygen atom in polymer chain it make the polymer less stable and hence presence of oxygen reduces the thermal stability of polymer in this structure there are two oxygen present in this structure there are 1 2 3 4 this is a polyethyl oxide so due to the presence of oxygen polymer become less stable next the factor is degradation of the substituent group there are some reaction involving polymer degradation by breaking the substituent group but not the main chain some type of reactions in which polymer degrade by breaking its substituent not a chain thermal degradation of the polyvinyl chloride involves free radical formation and occur at 200 degree celsius and it give hcl free radical will extract hydrogen from any of the methylene group so students this is a polyvinyl chloride polymer in which this r group alkyl group when they attack on the methylene group ch2 they grab a one hydrogen and it convert into the rh but when this hydrogen replaced from this methylene group a uh, there is possible of the free radical generate on this carbon here and the free radical generated carbon is said to be the alpha carbon in second step in alpha position and behind the substituent carbon it is least stable chlorine become unstable 
when chlorine leave from this chain or left this chain it become a free radical and the previous ch they left a free radical on this carbon and alpha free radical and the behind carbon there is a double bond created after leaving the chlorine atom now chlorine become a free radical and this chain a double bond is present now this chlorine free radical will attack on the next methylene group and grab one hydrogen atom and become a hcl now this free radical carbon is said to be the alpha carbon behind this carbon this chlorine is unstable and will leave the main chain and when they leave main chain it undergo towards the free radical chlorine atom and this remaining beta carbon one free radical remain on it and a new double bond conjugated double bond is exist there and chlorine become free radical which attack on further methylene group now as we have see a mechanism so we will discuss in theory the chlorine atom at the beta position with respect to the free radical alpha carbon atom is now unstable and hence it will be released as a free radical to provide stability to the structure the chlorine free radical can now attack a methylene group and abstract a hydrogen and produce another chlorine free radical the chain reaction proceeds in a similar way which lead to the production of polymeric chain having conjugated double bond as we have noticed the chain where alternate position a double bond is present this type of chain is said to be the conjugated chain or conjugated double bonded chain so polyvinyl chloride is colorless but depending on the concentration of the conjugated double bond it turn deep yellow orange brown and black important thing initially when polyvinyl chloride when there is no double bond is present it is a colorless nature but depend on the concentration of the conjugated double bond if the double bond increases in a chain its color may change and it turn into the deep yellow orange brown or maybe black the role of hcl in this reaction is catalytic here hcl playing a role as a catalyst since the degradation become faster as soon as hcl is evolve as the hcl evolve speedily the reaction may proceed very speedily and the degradation occur very fastly so this was the overall about today's topic where we have studied the thermal degradation when a long question may uh, this long question may be asked by the examiner in your final exam write a note on the thermal degradation then you have to write its definition then you have discussed there are uh, the thermal degradation may be possible or may be followed by two ways one is the chain and degradation and second is the random degradation mention these two terms and differentiate between these after that move towards the factor affecting on the thermal degradation there are four factors and you will strengthen your topic or your question with examples as there are enough example i have mentioned here after that you will compile your whole question according to same sequence so this was overall about today's lecture i hope you understand this is a very easy topic and uh, i hope you enjoy this lecture kindly share your feedback and thank you